Alright guys, it's V-Sing here, and I and a couple of friends from yesterday are back with some SummerSlam predictions, so I am back again with Demon OGM. Hello, guys and girls. And the Firefly Kiri. Hello. Hello. Uh, we were here yesterday with NXT predictions. If you didn't see that, go ahead and check them out. Um, if I remember, they'll be the video will be linked down below, but if not, it's on my channel. You can find it. Um, but we're here to talk about SummerSlam today. And there's a shit ton of stuff to talk about. Because right? fucking hell, there's, um, by our account, 11 matches announced for a three-hour show. So, yeah. It, <laughs> I really don't think it's going to be three hours, because since it's on the network now, they can go over if they want to. That's true, and they have been doing that a lot recently. So we're going to get an eight-hour yeah, show. Yeah, better than last year if they go under. Yeah, last year they was going under a whole lot. Yeah, I do remember that, but I don't think we have to fear that. Um, <laughs> right, there's a lot of matches to get through, <laughs> so we should jump right into it. And first up, we have a match that I actually wasn't aware of until Erica pointed it out to me before we started to record, but there is apparently a SmackDown women's six women tag team match. Basically, the entire SmackDown women's roster is in a match. We have... Carmella teaming up with Becky Lynch and Naomi, who I assume is a face now, versus Natalia, Eva Marie, and Alexa Bliss. Um, we don't know if this is main show or if it will get bumped down to the pre-show, because there is no pre-show match announced yet, so we feel this might be the pre-show match, but anyway. So, I'll start off by talking about this. This screams to me, let's get women on the card. Yeah. Like, there's very minimal storylines going in. Obviously, Becky and Natalia have been feuding a little. Uh, now, Natalia and Carmella are feuding a little bit. Eva Marie <laughs> is doing the gimmick of... She, what does she do? She comes out and pretends to get hurt so she doesn't have to fight or her fucking tits come out or some shit. I think it was last week. Was that right? Like, her bra fell off or something? I I think so. I was like, what the fuck? It looks like she undone her thing herself. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the that's the gimmick they're going for, is that she's, I don't know if she's scared or just doesn't want to wrestle, but she's not wrestled yet. Uh, and, so uh, I don't know who uh, compared it, but they said um, it's the similar gimmick that Fandango had. Yeah, yeah, it's very similar to what Fandango had at the start. But at least Fandango can wrestle. <laughs> yeah. For even Marie. Uh, I will say, though, that her entrance is amazing. It's just True. so over the top. It's amazing. <laughs> but, um, was, Gina, do you guys have anything to say about this match other than it's getting women on the card? Because really. women's rights and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, like SmackDown's women division is really bad. I will say that right now. After the whole divas slash women revolution, it's kind of gone downhill now. Uh... On the SmackDown side of things, Raw is still good, but we'll get to that later. But um, SmackDown, yeah, what they have Becky Lynch and Natalia, and they're the only two that can wrestle. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I do like Alexa Bliss. I feel like she's very underrated, but um, she's in no offense to you, Erica. She is the prototypical American blonde plastic Barbie doll. Hey, I'm not blonde. No, no, I'm not offense to you personally. I was <laughs> no offense in the American prototypical thing. <laughs> well, I, I, I will agree with you on that, though. I, I will admit she's very pretty, but it's just not my style. <laughs> um, and she's tiny. Well, is anything, any women your style, though? Sasha. I mean, besides Sasha. Just Sasha. May, or maybe Asuka. As, Asuka kind of thing. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Enough of us thirsting over Asuka, but um, I don't like. I I haven't seen SmackDown from this week, so I'm assuming Naomi returned and she was a good guy because she's on the good guy team. I haven't really. I hadn't had a chance to watch SmackDown because getting Aiden ready for school. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Shit like I don't. I don't really have much to say about this other than it's one of those get people on the card matches. Like, they do, they do these with WrestleMania, like, they'll have, like, the multi-man match, ladder match, or the battle royal, it's just get people on the card, and this is what yeah. this is. Um, Demon, you want to talk about who's going to win, or whatever, <laughs> like, anything? I have nothing to say about this. Uh, I really hope that the faces going to win, and 
The only reason because Eva Marie just leaves. <laughs> per Eva Marie, man. I mean, I want to see Becky Lynch kick some ass. Yeah, I want, I want Becky. I feel bad for Becky. I do too. She, I feel like she got the she got the short end shorted, of the stick. Short end of the stick because she got drafted to SmackDown. And she has no chance of getting the women's title anytime soon. Well, th there is a rumor that they're gonna have their own women's title on SmackDown. So, um, I know the the thing they were trying to achieve was that they're gonna move Becky over to SmackDown and have her be the face of the SmackDown's women's side. So, hopefully, that's what happens. I do too because Becky deserves it. She she's really does. A, she's a hard worker. She's like the forgotten one out of the four horsewomen. I know, and I feel so bad. She she's. She's just as good as Bailey and Charlotte in the ring and all that stuff, but she doesn't get the love. I don't know if it's racism against the Irish, but still. I mean, look what they did with Seamus. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> look what they did with Humbella. Oh, wait. Oh. Maybe it's against the ginger Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, look, look, look at Hornswoggle. True. <laughs> Finley. Is he Irish? I don't know if Hornswoggle actually is Irish. I, 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 I think he's either. American. Yeah. He is, but I'm just... I'm... <laughs> but, um, I, I want Becky Lynch to win. I don't even care about her team. I just want Becky Lynch to win. <laughs> uh, Erica, I think you agree? Yep. Yeah. Um, I will say, though, before we move on, Eva Marie, in my opinion, is a gold mine. Um, they know that crowds hate her because they're pushing the whole women's wrestling is back type thing and all that and they know that she can't wrestle and they're using that to their advantage she's gonna yeah. be the biggest heel in the women's division I guarantee it and people will pay to see her get her ass kicked by people like Becky <laughs> yeah so they're sitting on a gold mine I know Demon probably doesn't agree and just wants her gone but I feel like they're doing the right thing with her what do you, what do you have to say about that Demon Nothing real much, but <laughs> I think they're doing... Uh, yep, yeah, I totally agree. They put Eva Marie finally in her right spot. I, I guarantee it, within a couple of months, she'll be the biggest heel on, on the roster. I guarantee it. They were doing it in NXT I mean, and it was working. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to make Eva Marie the face of the company and see what happens. <laughs> but, that is... The two pet projects, Roman Reigns and Eva Marie. Hey. I mean... <laughs> we'll get to him later, don't worry. Um, but yeah, uh, this match, uh, we all think the faces will win. It's just one of, it'll either be the pre-show or near the start of the card and get the crowd into it because a lot of women... Or and, it could be a piss break match. Or a piss break match, but um, they have a few of those on this card. No offense to some of the people. I mean, um, I mean you, you ain't wrong. But speaking of piss break matches... Uh, <laughs> up next, we're going to talk about the first of a Best of Seven series between Seamus and Cesaro. Uh, Demon, I believe you had something to say about this? Uh, oh God. I, 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 I can only say... Why? <laughs> Swiss, it's the Swiss versus Ireland. Yeah. No, 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 no. The reason why I say why is... What's the go? What's the point? Is there anything special for the person that's going to win? Yeah, the, there's no incentive. See a, a rightful feud. Yeah, and it's not like they—they've already had like three or four matches in the last month. Yeah, yeah. So technically, uh, in the normal way of the WWE, they're done. Bye bye. Go on. No, we're just getting started, apparently. Um. It's gonna, gonna turn into Brock and Undertaker, I think. I hope. No, no. more like Samoa Cho and Finn Bella. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. And, and like I said, there's nothing that the person that's go going to win gain. Really. I mean, I mean, the the best thing in recent. WWE history that had to do with that was the Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Fight forever. They can fight forever and I'll be happy. Not these two. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> and, and the only thing that I can say 
and hope wins or WWE going to acknowledge that on and on a network special before SmackDown. Daniel Bryan and John Cena and I forgot what the the, the woman's name was. The other one. They talked a little bit. And they talked about how uh, who could be the next John Cena and blah blah blah. Who can and John Cena said, um, "I want someone that brings every time and um, like he does every time he's there and give everything he got." And um, the two names that he just mentioned were Seth Rollins. And Cesaro. Seth Rollins, I agree with. Not so much Cesaro. Yeah. And I, and I, I love Cesaro. Like he is one of the best wrestlers in the world. The, like the thing that holds him back is promo and charisma. In my opinion. Yeah. So. The, the, I would say, put him somewhere where he can work on that. And not against Sheamus. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, if you need to work I, on someone's you... charisma, putting him with Sheamus is not the best idea. It would be a better idea against Jericho. Yeah, like, I don't understand why they're not doing Cesaro versus Jericho. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I read. Like, I, I, Cesaro and Sheamus have history of having good matches with one another. I'm not. We're not denying that. It's just we've seen it a lot. We don't want to see a lot again. Um, but I, I mean, I mean, I'm just going to say it right now. Payments currently is the next big show. He is too much on screen. I mean, you ain't wrong. I don't even know where Big Show is. Uh, big Show is um, currently training and working for next WrestleMania, and that will be his last match against Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that's nice. It's already announced. Oh, okay. Um, and he looks thin as hell. Good, good for him. Uh, I mean, it looks already more sick than good. <laughs> but um, this match, Cesaro versus Sheamus, is pretty much one of those. We have these two guys. We like them. We want them to do something, but we don't have anything better for them to do. So put them together for a couple of months. That's what this is. Yeah. Yeah, but but why the best of some match? Because they probably have their title feud set out for a few months. They have everyone else booked up, so it was just like let them do their thing. I don't know. It keeps them busy and it keeps them around. And if if it, yeah. this will be fine, if Cesaro wins, in my opinion. Yes. But the only problem that I have, if they are really that early. Then they can't show jack shit. They can't take all the heat. That's true. And and best of seven match. Do you, do you know how long it would take? I mean, it wouldn't. I don't think it'll be as long as you think because they are bringing back the separate pay per views for each brand now. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean the match itself. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah. I don't see this getting a lot of time on the card. No, I but, would but, say but, but, max it, but, 10 minutes. It, uh, maybe I, uh, I, I remember wrong, but best of seven match is seven match on different days or at the same? No, no, it, it's, it's, it's a series, so this will just be one pinfall. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's I... not like a, like a four out of seven falls, man. It's like it's seven separate okay, matches. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then, 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 then I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Then it's, I'm... it's an old thing they used to do in WCW a lot. Like, they would have... the I think the United States, States title would always get a best of seven. No, no, no. no. That was in WWF. Uh, in WCW, it was the television championship. Oh, was it the television championship? Because I remember, was it Benoit yep. and Booker T had a best of seven in WCW? Yeah, I think it was the w, yeah. the, the, the television oh, championship. Okay. But it is something they've done in the past, and I do know WWE did do it with, was it Cena and Booker T? I, I, I think I, I so. Can't remember. It was a long time ago, but they have done this before. I don't mind it. If the matches are good, we can't complain. It's just a bit stale. Yeah. 
That's all. But right. still, but still, there is no goal announced to this match. I I hope that like obviously we know we're gonna get all seven matches. It'll be three three, and it'll be a deciding match at some pay per view. Uh, and hopefully then it'll announce okay if like the winner will get a future title shot, whether it be U.S. or the big belt, whatever the big belt's called. Uh, Universal, Universal champ. There it is. Universal championship. There it is. Stupid ass name, but. Uh, <laughs> It'll be fine. Did we, get we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about Nakamura versus Joe being very hard hitting. This is the same thing. Um, we'll probably get like what two hundred uppercuts this match. <laughs> I love me some European uh, uppercuts. How many? How many spin around? True. And and, and how? how um, but uh, also, how many punches to the chest? Yeah, that too. This is going to be very hard hitting, just like Nakamura Joe. We're not seeing, we're not comparing it to Nakamura Joe. It's just very similar. Um, but we should probably pick a winner, uh, Demon. Yeah, Cesaro. Any reason or just fuck it? <laughs> just fuck it. Someone needs to start it. It it will be fifty fifty till the end. <laughs> Erica. Uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll go with Seamus just to have the heel have the advantage because that's usually how these things go but it really doesn't matter until the last match but uh, yeah that's yeah. that match uh, up next I guess we'll talk about our first title match of the night and I'm going to say the first title match we'll see is Intercontinental title The Miz versus Apollo Crews uh, Terry Crews' little midget cousin <laughs> <laughs> I, I can only say Already the announcer did so many missteps with that. Oh, have they already called him Terry yeah. Crews? Yeah, once or twice. Yo, not bad. They need to, they need to get <laughs> Terry Crews to like come in and do like a skit backstage with him or something. <laughs> That'll be so fun. I love Terry yeah. Crews. But anyway, uh, Miz versus Crews, Intercontinental title. I personally have been loving the Miz recently. He's a lot of fun. He's yeah. a lot of fun. Um, and I like Apollo Crews, but he's similar to Becky Lynch in that he's kind of like lost in the shuffle like uh, they brought him into NXT a lot of fanfare pushed him a lot and he is a big star from the independent scene but as soon as he got to the main roster there was just so much going on that he got forgotten about so this is I think them trying to make him seem more important and apologize basically to him by giving him a slot on the SummerSlam card uh, your thoughts Erica on this match and the people um it, it's going to be an interesting match. Uh, really, Cruz hasn't been able to really shine. Yeah. So, I really, like, don't think that he will win, but I think that they will have him put on a really, like, he'll put on a really good match to make people be like, oh, well, hi. Yeah. This is this is his opportunity to show how good he can be. He needs to yeah. he needs to open some eyes. He really does, and I feel like he will do it. Miz will Miz is a good enough opponent that he'll be able to have a good match with Cruz. Yeah. Um, I just hope they get a little bit of time, and I hope the crowd knows who Apollo Cruz is, and I think they will because SummerSlam usually does have a very smart crowd, like they know they're independent people. Uh, Demon, your thoughts on this? Yeah. Match? Uh, I think this will be a grandiose match. They would make um, Cruz dominate, but then there's going to be uh, Maurice shenanigans. Yeah. Okay. So you think the Miz is going to retain? The Miz is going to retain title via disqualification or count out, something like that, so that they can introduce introduce or hype more Apollo because he is currently on the male level close to Darren Young. Probably. Yeah. Per black people. Um, <laughs> uh, Erica, your thoughts on the winner? Miz. Miz. Yeah, I'm going to go with Miz too. It's, too. it's too early, similar to we were saying about Nakamura and Joe yesterday. It's too early for Cruz, I feel. They need to yeah. establish him more, and I feel like if he does put on a good match and open some eyes and get the crowd behind him, they'll think they'll think, okay, the guy, the guy clearly can connect with the crowd. So next month at the pay per view, we'll give him the belt. Hopefully, that's what will happen. 
So yeah, uh, we're all going with uh, The Miz for the Intercontinental title match. Um, I don't, I'm struggling to think what might be up next. We'll go with uh, the first tag match of the night. We'll go with Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy, Big Cass versus Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. Um, Erica, your thoughts on this? This is going to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I like, like, um, Enzo and Big Cass. They are, they're very entertaining to me. Yeah. They, um, but the chair. Yeah, the chair? Oh, wait, this the is chair. the one year anniversary of the chair. It is. Uh, That's why I mentioned <laughs> it. It's the chair and the skull. True. <laughs> the, the chair scarf. <laughs> but, uh, very much like you, Erica. I do love uh, Enzo and Cass. More so Enzo. Like C- Cass yeah. is kind of meh to me. I, I love Enzo though. Enzo's gold on the mic and in the ring. He's just he's so funny. And we all love Kevin Owens. We all love Chris Jericho. Like <sighs> this is just gonna be fun. It is. It's going to be... I feel like there's going to be a lot of trash talking in this yeah, match. Well, before, in, it's and before after. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, I, I'm looking forward to this match. I, I think that that's a... That's an eye keeper. That's a real... I think after after that we need something slow down a little bit. That can I already say because the crowd will be powered out after mm. that. This is like the big get the crowd hyped up match. This might actually open the show because of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, I can already say that. <sighs> I love the combination Jerry KO. Why two KO? But <laughs> yeah, uh, but oh, it has the same feel as a Jerry KO. Why two AJ? Yeah, <sighs> I I don't know. Like uh, the Office or Triple H or Vince or all of them are clearly high on Enzo and Cass. And uh, this just, it, it screams to me that this is, uh, like, put two established guys in the ring with them to get them over. Sadly. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Um, so I, I 100% but... expect Kenzo, uh, not Kenzo? Enzo, uh, <laughs> to come out looking like a star, and Kevin Owens and Jericho to do everything in their best power to make them look like stars. Uh... Yeah. And it'll be a lot of fun. Jericho's fun. Kevin's fun. Enzo's hilarious. Cass is just I, there. I, I, I just want the tag team of Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens to be a real thing and to keep it. It's going to be entertaining, like um, the missing Jericho. Well, well, um, if they go the route of uh, Enzo and Cass win, then say Enzo or Cass pins Jericho. Which I do expect to happen. Uh, Kevin Owens is pissed. Then after the match, beats the shit out of Jericho and builds to a feud for them. That I'm fine with. Yeah. I yeah, I, I see that as well. But I kind of want them to stay attacked. Well, the, the question is though, like, how long is Jericho going to stick around? Because you, you, like, you know, he, he yeah, never yeah. sticks around for long. I yeah. Mean, it, how much it, longer it, does he really have yeah. in him? I mean, we all love these old, older superstars that have been for, around since even the Attitude Era, but honestly, they're all getting up there in age, and they're more prone to um, injuries. Well, that, that that is a testament to Jericho, though. He, to my knowledge, has never had a serious injury. He has? Yes, he has. Um... He's had a serious back injury, and actually, um, my dad is actually the one that told oh. me about this. Uh, Jericho was going to be forced to retire, uh, but he did the—he actually did the DDP uh-huh. yoga, and he was able to fix his back enough to where he was able to come back and oh, wrestle. No, I wasn't aware of that. Good job, good job, DDP. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
I see them like Enzo and Cass going over big and Owens turning on Jericho then probably leading to a feud between them and I think this will be Jericho going on his way out and putting Owens over on his way out because he is a big yeah. fan of Kevin Owens and they're good friends and he always likes to put over his friends hey. yeah and better than Fandango. Yeah. But, um, so. <laughs> I, I just I just really, like, I'm really glad to see these older superstars actually working to put over younger the younger generation. Mm. I think it is a testament to how, um, how much they love the act, the mm-hmm. business to actually help put over younger superstars. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, and actually, um, Undertaker wanted to drop his uh, drop his streak years ago to a younger superstar. Uh, didn't he want to drop it to Kurt? He didn't. Uh, As well, yeah. yeah. I know there was plans for maybe Wade Barrett to beat the streak, and we all yeah. saw how that turned out. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm predicting Enzo and Cass to go over with Owens turning on Jericho after. Uh, Erica, your predictions? Uh, I think Enzo, Enzo and Cass, Cass and uh, yeah, Jer- uh, Owens turning on. What to J? Uh, the Ayatollah. What to J? It's kind of going to be kind of going to be a kind of going to be like a bittersweet thing because it's kind of going to be like karma coming back to bite uh, Jericho in the butt. <laughs> I see that. The rest yeah, of karma. The <laughs> thickness. No. The thickness. <laughs> what is my cat? Uh, Demon, your your predictions. Oh, I see as well that either Kevin Owens or Chris Jericho is going to to ruin the match for each other and they're going to lose against Enzo and Cass because it is a bad idea to steal their heat. Yeah. Go feel <laughs> the heat. Alright, so we're all going with Enzo and Cass. So uh, we're going to move on to, in my opinion, the most irrelevant match on the card, in my opinion. It's for the US title. It's Roman Reigns versus Rusev. I genuinely don't care about this. Um, but I want your guys' thoughts on it. Uh, Demon, you can go first. Um, I think as well that this match needs to be after that kind mm-hmm. of thing. Uh, so the crowd can chill and boo if they <laughs> have the energy left to boo. <laughs> I mean, who is face and who is heel in that? Hey, Rusev's always face. I love Rusev. I mean, he defends the honor exactly. of his wife. Exactly. The man's not the bad guy in this situation. I don't. I don't. I don't understand WWE. It's like um, what was it, Muhammad Hassan, a long time ago? Uh, he was portrayed as a heel, even though everything his character was saying was true. He was an American man that was stereotyped and bullied because of his ethnic heritage. Like, what made him a yeah. bad guy? I don't know, but anyway, I don't care about this match. I really don't. <laughs> I'm happy that Reigns is out of the main title picture, but like, get him away from Rusev, please, because Rusev deserves a push too. Um, I think that Rusev might. Drop I hope. His I swear to God. The only re- the only reason for that is with what has come into light, which is. Oh, wait, never mind. That was a book for the real. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I, for a second, I thought it was Rusev. For, and I was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, we wait, we no, actually no, found no. out before we started recording these videos was that Alberto Del Rio recently got suspended because he's a bad boy. Um, but he's not on the cards. So we don't worry about Del Rio, even though I love Del Rio. But, um, do you, so, do you still think Reigns is going to win? Or was that just an error because you thought Rusev was Del Rio? Uh, th- it was an error. I, I think Rusev is going to kick Roman Reigns' ass because I feel like the WWE is still going to punish Reigns for that. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, 
the only thing that I can say, we have again a match that is a little bit of a hard hitting match. Yeah, that's true. There is a lot of hard hitting matches this weekend. Then that that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's a that's, yeah, that's a good that's thing. That's a good thing. And I mean. It's really a good thing to be honest. Mm. Uh, um, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why this match is a thing. In my opinion, Rusev is very good. He's a very good heel, and he can work uh, upper card. He's not just a mid card act, and I feel like if they work hard and push him, he can get there. Uh, but I know that they, even though he's being punished right now, they still see money in Roman Reigns. So. Yeah, yeah, but still. So I'm really worried that he's actually going to squash Rusev and get the US belt. I'm really concerned. I hope he doesn't, but that's what I feel like is happening. Because America, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Demon, you want to predict a winner? I say Rusev. Okay, Erica. Rusev. I want Rusev, but as they always say, Cena's going to win, and the new thing is Reigns is going to win, so I'm going to say Reigns. Even if it's by DQ. Hope not. <laughs> but um, that's that irrelevant match out of the way. So up next, I guess we'll go with another title match. Uh, we're going to go with the Tag Team Championships. The New Day against uh, the Bullet Club. Or, sorry, the Club. Because they're not the Bullet Club. They're just the Club. Um, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Uh, your thoughts on this match, Demon? Uh, they promoted it completely wrong. I, I haven't been keeping up with Raw and it, stuff, so like I don't really know the storyline to it, if you want to enlighten me and the viewers. The Bullet Club just make testicle jokes about Is that the really the feud? <sighs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> they tried to make the club a comedy act because they fought against the New Day. Okay. All they needed to do was have the club be the Bullet Club and have them come out and kick the shit out of the New Day every single week. That's all they needed. Uh, I don't know. Did they ruin everything? Man. We took Man. WWE. Uh, the Bullet Club are amazing. Why? Why they got the fuck the Bullet Club up? I would. I would like to point out, but I believe this is the one year anniversary of the New Day winning the belts. Yeah. No. Maybe. Hang on, I'll check. I think they a had longer a than longer year? than a year. Hmm. Oh, er Erica, Erica's on her Google grind. Because <laughs> I do have vague memories of them winning at SummerSlam, but I don't know if it was retaining or winning the belts. Also, I am very excited to see the New Day's entrance, because it is SummerSlam, and at WrestleMania we got like the Dragon Ball Z in the box cereal thing. Yeah, and I know oh, they consider SummerSlam to be like baby WrestleMania, so if they might do something special with the New Day, even if it is their one year anniversary with the belts as well. Uh, let's see. New Day are the current and longest reign WWE Championship in their second reign. I, I, uh, yeah, it, it, it is kind of untrue, but whatever. <laughs> But yeah, we're just going to assume that they've had it for a year now. Um, as much as my chagrin is to the build-up for this match, which was apparently really bad, I love the New Day. New Day are still funny to me. They're a lot of fun. And I love the Bullet Club, and they have done for a very long time, and I feel like they deserve much more appreciation than their gang. Uh, Demon, your thoughts on who's going to win and why? I'm saying that the Bullet Club is not really winning much against the New Day if they get the title from them. Because all the build up around it was a stupid comedy act. I think someone else should get the title and they take it from them then afterwards. I think the Bullet Club is going to lose. As well, another reason why I think they're going to lose they made real Boonio serious. Real, real yeah, serious. Uh, just to clarify, the New Day uh, got the championship on August 23rd, 2015. So this is at their Summer one year anniversary. 
this is their one year So, Demon's predicting that the New Day are going to win because of money, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah? No? Yep. E. Uh, Erica? Yeah? Un- Not you, Demon? Well, Go and for it. as well, the boot up is mm-hmm. bad. Erica, your thoughts. Sorry, I was taking a drink of water. Uh, your thoughts on who's going to win? <laughs> Day. You, they right. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with New Day as well. Like they just brought out the cereal and they want to promote the New Day and get the merchandise money because they sell a lot of merchandise and they're not gonna give that up anytime soon. Um, again, it's 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 too early Hell for the, no. the the Bullet Club as well. I feel like, um, well, I, actually, I won't go into anything yet. We'll get to that eventually. But um, so we all think the New Day are gonna retain. So that's that's pretty lit. Um, up next. We have one of the matches I'm looking forward to the most, the women's title match between j- defending champion Sasha Banks, the thickness, against Charlotte. Uh, Erica, your thoughts on the women's match? Mm-hmm. Don't be lit! <laughs> we have two of the best women wrestlers in the world having a one-on-one match on the second biggest show of the year. If they don't give this match time, I will be pissed. Oh, true. But here, here's the thing, here's the thing. The way I'm going to see it is that um, there's not going to be, like, this is going to be a straight up championship match because Darla isn't going to have mm-hmm. no one in her corner. No Dana Brooke, no Ric Flair. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be a actual one-on-one fight <sighs> to the death match. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, th- this match has all the potential in the world to be the best match on the card. Uh, a few weeks ago on Raw, they had the title match where Sasha won, and that match itself was amazing. It was one of the best matches I've seen on Raw in a long time. So these two know how to wrestle. They know each other very well and have potential to do amazing things in the ring. So I am looking forward to this a lot. Also, Sasha is big. Uh, Demon, your thoughts on the match? I think this as well could be quite uh, interesting and I really hope that Charlotte can prove again that she's not just a help seeker but I think at the end Sasha should keep the title yeah you're predicting Sasha to retain yeah as well as I, I, I really hope they try to push away that, ooh, I need help yeah. from Charlotte. I agree with that. Just too much. Um, Erica, your thoughts on who's going to win and why? Um, I think Sasha's going to win. Mostly because um, I really, really think that uh, they don't want... They don't want to really piss True. off the crowd that much. <laughs> like, <coughs> well, I mean, look what happened to WrestleMania. Like, the crowd were going insane yeah. the whole match for Sasha, then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, um, yeah. But they, they literally just gave Sasha the belt, like, three weeks ago, and I feel it'll be dumb to just take it away from her, like, right now. Plus, um, if you look at it, like, once this feud is done, who's next in line? Like, uh... I guess Nia Jax and she's apparently a heel so you wouldn't have Charlotte versus Nia you'd have good babyface underdog Sasha Banks taking on the big bad monster Nia Jax so that's the next storyline for the win in my opinion so I'm predicting Sasha to win as well Uh, what do you think about that like do you think Sasha will go on to a feud with Nia uh, Demon yeah that's a possibility but I would think that is also a little bit too Fernanda. early. Yeah, she is just meeting up with some squash match. Yeah, uh, I guess they could always stretch this out another month while they build up Naya. I don't want them to. If they could, they could build it up. Yeah, with that's true. Dana, she, she could say, "Well." I'm the only reason why Charlotte had so long the title. I'm better than her. I should have. Uh, That's true. They could, they could. They could go that route. Um, Nikki Bella could come back as well. 
and feud with Sasha. I wouldn't mind that. But I know a lot of people hate on the Bellas, but Nikki improved a lot. So, yeah. I wouldn't mind that. But yeah, we all think Sasha's going to win because Sasha is the greatest thing that ever lived. Not not Austin Aries, it's Sasha Banks. Uh, yo, Snoop Dogg's going to do an entrance again. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog. Um, but yeah, Sasha's going to win and we're going to move on to one of three main events. We actually have three main events for this show and I'm going to go with the one that we sadly probably least people care about is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I think that's what they're still calling it is Dean Ambrose the champion defending against Dolph Ziggler for some reason. Uh, Demon, you want to talk about this match? Um, I think they just call it now the oh, it's, WWE okay, it's just the Championship. WWE Champ- okay. Yeah. Uh, but your thoughts on the match and Dolph and Dean and uh, this is just weird. But you want to talk about it? Yeah. Why Dolph? <laughs> I I feel like we all have that same question. Like nothing against Dolph. I love Dolph. Great wrestler. Blah blah blah. But no. why Dolph? Especially exactly. considering Bray is on that roster. And yeah, he has it, he's not even on this card. The... Uh, it's really frustrating because I love Bray Wyatt. Like they, they've handled his character very poorly. <sighs> I don't know, but at least the match should be good, right? I yeah, think so. Dolph, Dolph is Dolph. Like he does super kicks and wants to be Shawn Michaels really badly. <laughs> oh god! I, like this is just—I don't know what the idea was behind this match. I like the storyline of Dolph wanting to prove himself and blah blah blah. Yeah, it's, but... it's just very random. And it's just—it's it it's a match. It's just there to extend Dean Ambrose's title reign to establish Dean as the top guy on SmackDown. They want him to be the face of SmackDown, and this is there to just prove him to be a strong fighting champion. So Dolph will go out there, bump like crazy for yeah. Dean, and blah blah blah. Right? That's all this is. Yeah. There's honestly yeah. not much to say about this match. Yeah. It's basically time filler until they build someone else up for Dean to feud with. Hopefully Bray, even though we've seen that feud already. But there's honestly not much better options over on SmackDown. Like, I actually I wouldn't mind Dean versus AJ. I wouldn't mind Dean. I and I just realized I messed up. There is four main events because now that I mentioned AJ, we forgot to talk about that match. So we'll do that next. Um. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Why I uh, Cena. But even that match is more, in my opinion, more relevant and important than this title match. And that says a lot. Like the John, yeah, the John Cena AJ what? match is more important to me than the world title match. So like, WWE, get your shit right. <laughs> but um. I'm just gonna like we're gonna skim over this match because it's really just there and yeah we all just agree it's just kind of bad and we all just think Dean's gonna yeah, retain yeah. and move on to a better feud. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dean, yeah. you're banning everything, but do something more interesting. Uh, so we're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not his fault at all. It's booking, but anyway, we're gonna go move on to the match that I missed. and I apologize for that, but AJ Styles, a phenomenal one versus the face that runs a place, John Cena. <sighs> All right, uh, Erica, you want to get us started on this? And my cat is going insane, so I'm going to open my door. But uh, Erica, I mean, mine is too, <laughs> so don't worry you about it. Talk about this and why if um, Cena wins, I will probably go bomb the WWE building. I, I really hope that he does not win. Don't I want mean, him to win. I mean, if they're really trying to prolong the already finished kind of feud, then AJ needs to win. Okay, let me let me let me ask you guys this. You guys are wrestling right. fans. How many times has Cena got into a feud where it's lasted like three or four pay per view matches where he loses at the end? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bray Wyatt. They had three matches at pay per view. John Cena won. Kevin Owens, John Cena won. Uh, who else was there? Rusev, John Cena won. The Nexus, John Cena won. Even, well, that's kind of a stretch, but even yeah, The e- Rock. Even The Rock, John Cena in the end, won. Uh, the only person I can think of that 
beat John Cena in a feud, the like clean Daniel Bryan. Even if they only had there was one, one match, Pedro Daniel match. Bryan won clean. You could argue CM Punk, debatable, because it was kind of weird, but but if you were yeah. a betting person, you don't bet against Cena in a feud. I, I, I mean, yeah, true. I mean, Cena is, like, still their golden boy. Yep. So. Yeah, that's, as much as AJ needs to win and I want him to win, I'm scared he won't. Oh, yeah. I, I really I, hope he at does, least though. I do think the match will be fantastic. Like, AJ is one of the best in the world, and Cena has proven if he's in there with a good wrestler, he can have a great match. So at least we will get a great match out of it. Yeah. I, I can only say the Cena-AJ Styles match is better than, let's say, Cena was yeah. Sheamus match that could have yeah. been a possibility as well. <sighs> at least the match will be good. That's, that's all we hope. Um... Right, we get to the bad bit now. Uh, Erica, you want to pick a winner? I'm not very good at betting, oh, so no, I'll go know, with okay. AJ. We have some, we have some faith here. Uh, Demon. I would as well say that AJ, because otherwise it doesn't make sense to continue. The I'm going to say more. AJ as well, but I will, I will fully admit right now, Yay! I don't expect it to happen. Because every every time every time a feud happens with Cena where the young newcomer needs to win, they never do. Rusev, Bray, Kevin Owens, all perfect examples. But I have hope that WWE have finally learned their lesson and need to look to the future and have AJ win. I hope and pray. But yeah, I'm going with AJ. Hopefully. Um, so we move on, I guess, to the other title match, uh, the WWE Universal Championship. Am I correct? Yeah? No? Universal. Yep. Yeah, the uh, Universal. Which will be contested between Seth Rollins and Finn Balor, who apparently will be in his little demon get-up. Um, this is... This is a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, demon here. Um, <laughs> this is Finn Balor's WWE pay-per-view debut, right? I think? Yeah. And he's already doing the gimmick with the demon thing, which I think is a huge mistake. Like, it's, it's way too early to reveal that, in my opinion. The guy's only been on the roster for, like, a, four weeks. Well, the whole the, the whole reason that they are re- doing that is Seth Rollins, um, quote-unquote, provoked him to... That he wanted to fight the demon, uh, Finn Balor. He didn't want this... The, his current state. He wanted the actual demon. He wanted okay, his best. Okay. I just, I still think it's way too early. I, I, I can only say, I want demon Finn Bella and CrossFit <laughs> Jesus. CrossFit Jesus, man. Um. No, 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 no. Seth Rollins is true. The this Power was Ranger. the show where he debuted the White, White Power Ranger thing. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm scared, because, like, this is, what, Finn's first feud on the main roster, and it's for the main belt, arguably the main belt, and are they really going to push him that hard that quickly? I think that they are, he's going to lose. But that, but that's why it scares me, because they've already confirmed he will be in his little demon gimmick. And if he loses his first match as the demon gimmick, that's already him kind of, like, dead in the water. Like, okay, right. so you're this big, bad, painted-up demon thing, like, you lost. Like, you're not that, you're not, you're nothing special. Like, it loses all its appeal straight away, so that's why I didn't like that they revealed it. If he was normal Finn Balor and lost, I would have been kind of okay with it. But because they've built up the demon and blah, 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 and if he loses in his first match... That's bullshit. Unless, unless, John Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
I feel like there might if be there's some shenanigans, shenanigans, I don't mind as much. But if he loses clean, I will be very mad. I feel like that there is gonna be shenanigans because Stephanie definitely wants mm -hmm. Rollins to win. She wants him to win, and I feel like I'm gonna have something done to where she's gonna make sure yeah. that happens no matter what. So I really, really think that there is going to be some shenanigans. Uh, Demon? Thoughts on a winner and how the match is going to end? Uh, like we said it already many times before, it's just too early. Mm. Puffin. Do you agree with Erica and think there'll be some outside shenanigans that costs him the match? Maybe we're talking about mm. WWE booking. They love their shenanigans and weird yeah. endings. I guess it depends where this match is on the card. Like, if it's not, like, the, the last match, then yeah, I can see shenanigans. If it's the last match, I expect a clean, a clean victory by one of them. I, well, you, you gotta remember, the, uh, what was it, Seth versus Brains, last match on the card, there was a shit ton of shenanigans when it was, uh, or what, who was it again? Where it had, where Stephanie had to come oh, out Oh, it was, uh, Roman Shane. and Edgy. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, Roman and AJ. I mean, I mean, don't put it past WWE to have sh damn shenanigans at the very end of the card because think about it, that's going to build up shit for like and the next very night on Raw. Pro promoting TV on pay per views, which makes no sense to me. But, um, um, another good example for shenanigans where the match uh, Seth yeah, Rollins Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah, it that's true. At the end of but, the pay per view. Uh, I feel like having The Undertaker is okay <laughs> for shenanigans because it's The Undertaker. <laughs> but, yeah, that's true. Well, that's a little biased. It, no, but it's, bi it, <laughs> it's biased, but it's true. But it's like Undertaker. People weren't mad about that because it was The Undertaker. Yeah, but what if they could make as well such oh, a good the Undertaker's gonna kinda. come out and be like, you ain't no demon. <laughs> oh no, god! You know Demon Kane. Wait, no, they, no, they can't do that because Demon Kane is on SmackDown. Yeah. Yo, you Smackdown, scared me for yeah. a second. <laughs> 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 um, I'm actually gonna differ from you guys and say that Finn is gonna win, and it is gonna be by shenanigans, because the Bullet Club will help him, because Finn is part of the Bullet Club. And That's the Bullet Club right. is on Raw, other than AJ. So, the demon will get help from the club, and... So... Maybe we have a yeah. triple tag. Like Evolution team. back in the day when they had all the belts. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I feel like if they're going to do the whole demon thing for Finn's first pay-per-view match, he has to win. But I know that Seth is a big guy for them and they want to protect Seth so I wouldn't have them lose clean so having Finn turn heel with the club and so Seth's protected but also Finn obviously wins a belt and gets his big push I think that works out best for everyone but that that would be the first step for Seth to yeah and that, that was my next point is Seth face. is the ultimate baby face in my opinion so that is the best for business, as they like to say, in my opinion. Heal Finn Balor with the club versus a face Seth Rollins, who can go back and get help from Roman Reigns and the Shield and all that stuff if he really wants. I mean, should. they should hire they us. Hire us, WWE. I know you're watching. <laughs> I'm going to be the one that picks uh, Finn with help from the Bullet Club, which leaves us with, which I think will be the main event because it's fucking Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, yeah. Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman. Randy Orton, Randall Keith Orton. Even though it's a Brock Lesnar match, which we always look forward to, 
Ever since he came back, this is the first Brock Lesnar match where I, I don't really care. Because <laughs> it's Randy. Like, does anyone yeah. really care what Randy Orton does anymore? I like Randy Orton. I'm not saying I don't like him. him. He's just boring. And... Yes. Because they don't... They don't. They really they don't. They don't utilize him very well. They need to... They need to... They need to give him a gimmick, gimmick again that he can run through, like the legend de uh, killer gimmick, the 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 the, the, yeah. the, 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 the voices in my head, wiper gimmick. I I think the legend uh, killer part of his career was the best part, and I wouldn't mind yes. if he went back to that. Now, they were hinting at it because he's like, I will kill the legend of the beast, blah blah blah. So, I wouldn't mind him going back to that. And at least, at least now, he, uh, he's, he's, he's embraced yeah, he's RKO'd out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, I can only say as well, why they hype it as well so much is because it's... Yeah, it is, the first and that's surprising considering other. they started out together in OVW back in the day. Yep. Yeah. It, 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 it. It's something I, I know, I run it, right? boring. It's just, uh... WWE, <laughs> what are you doing with um, us? There is a couple of things. Well, there is one thing that I fully expect to see, and that's F5 getting countered into an RKO, right? That has to happen, right? Yes. Uh, yes. That has to happen. But, um... It would be also interesting, but quite a difficult... If Brock Lesnar would uh, counter the just, like, grabs into his head and him onto his shoulders. <laughs> I mean, they can try. <laughs> yeah. I... I he does. He does. That would be quite interesting to, to see, actually. So I do. I do at least expect to see that spot because I, I feel like I... that's the only reason they're doing this match, just to get that spot. <laughs> uh, it's a Brock Lesnar match, though. So like, they're usually good and fun, right? Because Suplex City and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. quick prediction. Quick prediction. How long does it take Broke? for Brock Lesnar uh, to bleed? Three minutes. I'm going three. Uh, and, and and why did you say an RKO out of an F5 when there is oh. a German suplex? Oh. And that's the perfect moment I, to I, RKO even. We could see both. Both suplex of those spots. City? Fuck that. <sighs> but but could you imagine Randy Orton on the highest point pulling down in t like they are in a vertical line and then pulling down Brock Lesnar into an RKO yeah, that over is the very true. Legs? That's a good point. So I, I expect to see those spots. I'm looking forward to seeing that. It'll be cool visual. Um, I do have a question though. Is like um, after this, where what does Brock do? Because like. Brock is official Raw, so that's a one-off one yeah, yeah, yeah. lifetime kind of thing. Yeah. Because they won't but face like, each other again. Brock has now faced arguably all the stars in the company, like Cena, Orton, uh, Undertaker. Like, who's left? I, I, I don't think they'll get The Rock to fight Brock. Like, I don't think Rock's agents or whatever will allow him to do that. <laughs> Like, well, he's already I mean, faced Rollins. Like, do we go Demon Balor or whatever? I would rather go... Uh, I just want to... I just... I, I don't I, I, know. I, I can only see two ways. Brock versus... Price Fighter or squad, uh, Squash Challenger or something like that. And, like... Something like I said in the last uh, review in NXT, something like he versus Samoa yeah, Joe. I or, wouldn't mind either. Kevin Owens. I, I still dream of Brock Lesnar versus Sasha Banks. <laughs> yeah, Yo, <laughs> Nia Jax. I see you. <laughs> do I do have the theory that they're building up Braun Strowman for the Brock match? 
Uh, again? Like they t- tried it yeah, with something Rope like that. Rock, yeah. was it? But they seem to have more faith in Braun now. Yeah. Like they're they pushing him. Even... I'm just saying, Braun Strowman is going mm-hmm. to be the next great Kali. He'll get pushed for a while, get some sort of belt, then become comedy mid Carter. But, um, Brock and Randy, yep. you want to do predictions? Uh, Demon, who do you think is going to win? To be honest, they are both kind of big faces of the each brand. And because they want to protect the property of Randy Orton with RK out of nowhere and Brock Lesnar, Suplex City, I think this calls for shenanigans. I don't know what, but I don't think this will end. Paul Heyman Um, shenanigans. I I feel like since this is really Randy Orton's first time back in... Uh, How long? Nine months? Yeah, nine months. Nine months? I feel like they might give it to him. Okay. I feel like... Since this is his first time back, uh, they're going to give him a win to show that okay. he is ready to um, be back. I'm just going to be the one that says this This is just Brock going to dominate. <laughs> like, they're protecting Brock. Um, he hasn't lost by pinfall in over two or three years. They're building him up as this unstoppable force that hopefully a younger guy will put an end to his little undefeated streak. So I just feel like he will power through Randy Orton. Like, Randy Orton t- doesn't come away bad if he loses the clean to Brock. So, I, I feel like Brock's gonna right. win. Like, Randy Randy will put up a good fight, it'll be a good match and everything. There'll be RKO's out of nowhere and all that stuff, but Brock has to win, in my opinion. But, um, do we have any overall thoughts on the card, or what's gonna happen before we head out? Are we looking forward to SummerSlam? <laughs> oh, why not really? I'm not really... really. There are only two or three highlights, but overall it's more disappointing. It looks like the same yeah. old shit like every time. Well, I mean, the way I I, I think of it, Demon, to be it's honest. gotta be better than last year's <laughs> SummerSlam. Last year's SummerSlam kind of booty. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. The, the only quote-unquote bad match on the card is, well, the, the women's six person tag and Rusev and Reigns that's it everything else everything well shaman shaman. (laughs) you're shaman (laughs) Um, even that has potential to be good though (laughs) but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it Um, Demon and Erica may be back with myself to do a review if not I'll be back myself maybe I'll have someone else I don't know yet but we'll see how it goes um, if you guys enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and comment your predictions and what you're thinking is going to happen and what you're looking forward to with SummerSlam. Make sure you follow Demon and Eric on Twitter. Their links will be down below. Subscribe to them on YouTube, all that stuff. So yeah, um, you want to say bye pe- to the people, Demon and Erica? Bye, people. <laughs> we'll be back bye. with a review soon, guys. See you later. Hope you enjoy SummerSlam. Bye-bye.